Assalamualaikum and hi to teacher Rohana. My name is No Alicia from 5 GG. Today I'm going to present about hot air balloon. The question is did you know what is hot air balloon? A hot air balloon is a non-porous envelope of thin material filled with a lifting gas that is capable of lifting suspended payload into the atmosphere that is invented by at yours. Suspended payload, also known as basket. A hot air balloon is more lighter compared to the other aircraft. As you can see from this picture, the hot air balloon consists of envelope, basket, burner system, skirt, rope of parachute valve and parachute valve. However, the main parts that involve in Archimedes principles are envelope, basket and burner system. Before we talk about the movement of hot air balloon, the basic principle of hot air balloon is the use of hot air to create buoyancy that generate lift. The hot air balloon begins to raise upward when the burner system is ignited and the parachute valve is closed. The air in the envelope is heated. This situation will cause the density of hot air balloon is less than the density of surrounding air. The difference in density causes the hot air balloon to be lifted off the ground due to buoyant force created by the surrounding air. Archimedes principle states that any object that is suspended in a fluid is acted upon by an up upward buoyant force equal to the width of the fluid displaced by the object. Hence, buoyant force is equal to the width of surrounding air displaced. For lift to be generated, the buoyant force should be greater than the width of the heated air plus the weight of the envelope plus the weight of gondola plus the weight of passengers and equipment on board. As a result, the hot air balloon will experience sufficient buoyant force to be completely lifted off the ground. The hot air balloon begins to move downwards when the burner system is turned off and the parachute valve is closed. This situation will cause the hot air in the envelope to be cooled down. The decrease of hot air in the envelope will decrease the buoyant force. The hot air balloon moves downward when the buoyant force is less than the weight of hot air plus the weight of envelope, weight of gondola, weight of passengers and equipment on board. Now, I want to explain a little bit about the operating system. The operating system is important to maintain the altitude so that the hot air balloon does not descend and ascend immediately. The balloon operator intermittently fires and turns off the burner. This will cause the balloon to ascend and descend respectively. This is the only way uh, we can maintain the constant altitude because maintaining a net zero buoyant force on the balloon is practically impossible. The balloon stayed inflated because the heated air inside the envelope created the pressure greater than surrounding air. Since the envelope has an opening at the bottom like around the above location of the burner, the expanding hot air is allowed to escape, preventing a large pressure differentiation from developing. This means that the pressure of heated air inside the balloon ends up being slightly greater than the cooler surrounding air pressure. Last but not the least, I'm going to talk the way hot air balloons remain stationary. As you can see from the picture, the weight of the hot air balloon is more concentrated near the bottom of the balloon. So, the center of mass labeled as G, uh, the hot air balloons is always below the center of buoyancy labeled as C. 
Therefore, the balloon is always stable during flight. We can conclude that upthrust is equal to the weight of hot air plus weight of envelope, weight of grandola, weight of passengers and equipment on board. Action! Ooh, la, la, la.